Crawford. Well, the Premier of Victoria, Dennis Napthine, has been speaking to the media in Warrnambool about his government's decision to sign up to the Better Schools funding program. He's been talking to our reporter, Dan Conifer. Uh, Premier, what does this deal mean for Victorian students? This is a great deal for Victorian students. This means the Victorian students will have an extra $12.2 billion to spend on education on top of the record level of funding in our last state budget for primary and secondary school education. So improvement in the basics, broader curriculum and better educational outcomes. It seemed only days ago that talks had broken down. The uh, Federal Education Minister came out yesterday. Uh, in that light, why did you sign? Uh, you've got to have tough negotiations. We're tough negotiators in Victoria. We want the best deal for Victoria. We were absolutely determined to get the best deal financially, but also to protect the management of our local schools. So this deal includes a commitment from the federal government to amend the Education Act. That was a hard deal to achieve, but those amendments will guarantee that the state will control education in Victoria through local principals and local school councils. That was fundamental to us signing up to this uh, very good funding deal. Would you say the federal government's made quite a big compromise on that front? I think there's been compromises all round, and that's what comes from good, hard negotiation. But as Premier of this state, it's my job to fight and get the best deal for Victoria. And we've fought that fight and we've delivered a really, really positive outcome for Victoria, both financially and to retain local autonomy for local schools. You've got that local autonomy. You've also got $12.2 billion in extra funding above 2013 levels. Has Victoria been given a special deal? Victoria's been given a good deal. It's a great deal for Victorian education, a great deal for Victorian families. I make no bones about the fact that as Premier of the state, I'll fight for the best deal for Victoria, and we have delivered an outstanding deal for Victoria. Given this whole Gonski reform is about fairness and equity, could other states be crying foul? It's up to other states to push their own case. My job as Premier of Victoria is fight for the best deal for Victoria and we've fought really hard, we've argued hard, we've argued consistently and we've delivered a very good deal for Victorian schools. Has playing politics delayed Victoria's sign-up? It certainly hasn't been about playing politics. It's been about fighting for the best deal for Victorian schools, fighting for the best financial outcome, and we've delivered that with $12.2 billion of extra funding for Victorian schools, but also fighting for a fundamental principle of local control of local schools by principals and school councils. That's been fundamental, that's what we've fought for, and that's what we've delivered. Did uh, the opposition leader Tony Abbott's announcement midweek that he would support the Gonski reforms more than he would have in the past, did that in any way influence the timing or your decision making at all? It had no influence on our negotiations with the current federal government, but we do welcome Tony Abbott and the coalition's decision because this means this very good deal for Victorian schools will be delivered irrespective of who wins the federal election. So I welcome the commitment from Tony Abbott to honour the agreements that have been signed with regard to future education funding and also his commitment to change the Education Act so that we can deliver local management of local schools. These are important principles that are important to Victorians, important to the coalition government in Victoria and that's what we fought for and that's what we've delivered. Uh, Bill Shorten speaking earlier this morning said that around 80% of uh, Australian students are now signed up to the Gonski plan. Have you given Federal Labor a free kick ahead of the election? What I've done is fought for and got the best deal for Victoria. That's what I am about as uh, Premier of Victoria and I'll continue to put Victoria first and politics second, third and fourth. How much, he uh, how much pressure was placed upon you by the Federal Government to sign up quickly? Well, there was pressure from both sides. We, as a, a Victorian government, wanted a good outcome. We wanted to get the best uh, funding deal for Victorian schools, but we also wanted to make sure that we had the best management of Victorian schools with local management by principals and school councils. So it was a, a fair bit of argument, a fair bit of argy-bargy, particularly over the last 24, 48 hours, and uh, negotiating with Bill Shorten, an experienced uh, union negotiator, is a tough business, but uh, we in the Victorian Government, we believe we're arguing on the right side for good financial outcomes and good management outcomes for our schools, and I'm glad that the Federal Government has listened. 
How clearly did Mr Shorten and Kevin Rudd make it to you that Victoria needed to hurry up? Uh, there was always pressure on to get a result as quickly as possible, uh, but we were standing out for what was a good result. So we were all, always arguing not about the time, but about getting the right result, and that's what we're on about. Did you get the impression at all that the federal election date may be why the uh, federal government wanted to speed up these negotiations? I can't comment on the federal election date. That's up to the Prime Minister. Uh, all I can say in terms of... Did you get the feeling, though? Uh, all I can say in terms of that, 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 we need the election as soon as possible. We're sick of the uncertainty. It's hurting jobs, hurting the economy. So let's get the election on. Let's give people a say about who governs Australia into the future. That's the Victorian Premier, Dennis Napthine, speaking to our reporter in Warrnambool. Well,